What's up, Scorpio? It's Obsidian Lotus L. I'm here to do your daily for October 23rd, 2020. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate to my channel, contact me for any reason. If you would like a more personal reading, um, that information is also going to be in the description box below. My email address, how to reach me, um, all that good stuff. Okay, so please, my... Uh, personals are only going to be 25 right now so um take advantage of it while you can okay um scorpio i'm getting the energy or i've been picking up the energy of needing clarity or clarity being being given to you and you really not having like here we go with like there's not a solid foundation going on here so there's something going on possibly could be with an earth sign doesn't have to be earth energy about grounding you're getting clarity about okay a situation possibly that um you needed clarity about possibly maybe didn't really necessarily want quite yet is the feeling that i'm getting um it was kind of like a i don't know mercury retrograde bomb i don't know it just fucking happened so um i feel like you're kind of in the energy of having clarity figuring out what to do with it um trying to stay grounded and make sure that you're you know taking care of your life and taking care of yourself right and not um letting uh other people's actions get your panties all in a wad basically right so um clarity okay <laughs> um i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the deck and say my little prayer so we can get into the reading spirit angels ancestors guides please provide us with your protection of white light through the tarot also provide us with any messages for scorpio sun moon rising for october 23rd 2020 um, obviously time is fluid. So whenever you hear the message that you're supposed to hear is when you're supposed to hear it. Okay. You want to know something interesting that happened to me? Okay. Birds are like, I don't know if I've, I've if you've watched a video where I've talked about it, but birds and dogs, especially, <laughs> No, here lately I was walking down the street and a wolf uh luckily it was like right next to my house I was like shit beeline to the door it didn't even mess with me but I was terrified for a second like fucking wolf right so um <laughs> dogs birds wolves 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 whatever however you say it right apparently so like <laughs> I walk outside you, if this past week or over the last couple of weeks and like it, there's an owl that hangs out somewhere in the trees over in my yard, neighbor's yard, on the street and um, it's pretty wild. So <laughs> it'll say hello to me basically. Um, birds have a thing with me. So today and yesterday uh, when I went driving this huge eagle and the crazy thing is eagle I dreamed about my father last night and my dad was very, um, he was like a swimmer when he was in high school and college, I think, and won awards. But I, I dreamed about him and he was like in a race, like swimming, like he, but he was like in it to win it kind of. And I felt like that was like, I do believe that he watches out for me, my protect protector angel he's an angel or um you know I don't know if you've a lot of times sometimes people can help more on the other side um than they could before the they passed away and I feel like that's the energy he's in now right so I feel it I do and that's part of some of the clarity that I've also had too recently but like um I saw an eagle and it flew down like two days in a row like towards my car or low enough and they're usually high flying birds to where you can't really see if it's an eagle but they're huge and you're like I think it's an eagle is it a hawk is it eagle but this this bad boy was beautiful dark brown and black looking almost or very dark brown and had the white head clearly it was an eagle and it came down and basically on my way somewhere and on my way back home I saw it and it like and it, I felt like it was acknowledging me it was crazy. It made me teary eyed. So I feel like, again, clarity. Clarity, maybe that's kind of, um, I feel like it's in the air. So it's, it's going to be a little mind blowing. Okay. Whatever happens, Scorpio, um, if it does and it's mind blowing, please leave it in the comment box below because I feel like that's the energy we're on. Okay. So, um, 
they say that eagles are the highest flying animal or the highest they're the closest birds to the spirit world because they're the highest flying birds and scorpios which i'm a scorpio um oftentimes um you know you'll see artwork in tarot cards or different uh um astrology artwork with scorpio and there'll be like uh an eagle in the picture somewhere so i think it's kind of cool that that was happening that was what made me kind of cool like i don't know i felt like super scorpionic and spiritual today when it happened <laughs> all right let me shut up and get into the reading so i feel like for you there's an element of something that is going to possibly Maybe not happen just the way that I was talking about it, but something with birds, something with a message from your spirit guides, ancestors, angels. I feel like something's going to happen possibly like that, Scorpio, for you. So, uh, and, and it's going to come to you when you need it. And it's like an extra message of clarity, okay? Like it's an extra message for me. It was an extra message of those little like intuitive thoughts that I have sometimes follow them, right? If I put it off for a minute and God, and God or my spirit guides are like, what are you doing? Like, I'll get messages like, follow it, right? Like something like that. So um, pay attention because whatever it is, it's important and it's clarity that you need, okay? And you need it to deal with something, clarity you need um, just to be able to make a proper decision about something. You could be changing locations, you could be changing jobs, um, whatever it is. I feel like there's some sort of clarity that's going to be of importance for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune here, so there is an ending, okay? A pain, not a painful ending, just an ending, a change in environment, a change in relationship, okay? Um, the Wheel of Karma, too. I feel like there is an element of karma for somebody in this reading. It's either, or in this card, in this ending, you or your partner, okay? Take it however it resonates. Um, the princess of uh, pentacles, which is basically symbolizing, you know, uh, growth and really um, being grounded as far as uh, with, you know, nature, being in touch with your spiritual side, but being in touch with like also like the world around you, right? So maybe there's been like an element of um, for you um, with this card showing up too and making this change, like maybe there's some kind of change that you need to do that's going to um, you need to, yeah, do or something you need to change is going to be better for you as far as spiritual growth, but also like growth and, and just being like present in the um, world, right? Grounded, like, you know, spiritual is great. Yes, we, I love being spiritual, but sometimes I can get off into in the clouds and like I need to be grounded and back into rea reality a little bit or out in the world and whatever, right? So I know a lot of us can only do so much or whatever. Some people are just out there like, fuck it, what is coronavirus? I mean, that's you, right? Whatever you want to do with your life. But I feel like there is an element of, you know, importance in being like connected in the world in some way, shape or form, especially in this reading for you. It's a change, I feel like, for the better. There is um, an energy of here, like the Six of Cups, which is basically still having like feelings for somebody from the past, Scorpio. Um, I feel like it's either you or this person is thinking about you nostalgically. Um, it could be um, the energy possibly uh, you just remembering like who you were as a child um, and things that like maybe right now, like thinking about kind of in comparison to what you've gone through um, throughout all the, throughout, you know, all the years, like, especially if you're having a birthday soon, a lot of times like birthdays, especially for me, you know, I'll remember like my, my, you know, younger years or what I did like 10 years ago or what I was doing when I was a child or whatever, you know, just um, thinking about the past. And I feel like there's an element for you, Scorpio. Also, when thinking about the past, it's going to be important for you for kind of shifting like um, energetically. Um, like being nostalgic about it, but there's also some healing. I feel like that needs to be done. Some inner, inner child, um, inner, inner child healing work that needs to be done, possibly concerning like family, um, is the vibe that I'm getting, especially with the growth and being grounded. Right. So I feel like there's an element of somebody that possibly, um, there's been like an ending to karmic cycles. Okay. I feel like you've been healing through whatever it was that you, you, it's, I want to say it's like breaking the, um, God, what is it? Oh, I hate having your brain fart when I'm talking about stuff like this, but not a karmic cycle. Um, you know, like family, uh, gosh, 
like the the curse like a family curse right so Blake breaking like that bloodline curse where it's just like everybody like it's just like this cycle like it, it's it, for you I feel like you're like I'm it stops with me right so all this negative energy all this bullshit all this health issue all this other shit this negative energy all that stays and like correct me if I, I feel like maybe I'm saying it right there's like a word I'm missing I don't know I don't know why I feel like I'm not saying it right so if I'm not say it in the comments right let me know but um basically ending those um traumatic toxic like cycles right and changing and, and 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 I feel like for you it's it's been a lot of like thinking like every day like even sometimes like changing your thought process here it could have to do with I feel like for somebody you've got an energy of an Aquarius Libra Gemini that likes to test the shit out of you right um I feel that energy and it's kind of like it's a trigger you've got somebody around you with that energy that likes to trigger the shit out of you and there's inner healing work that you've been doing and have done that's helped you deal with this person but it's still something that you still have to constant consciously i feel like with this energy here showing up to you you know make sure that you are even if you have to change that thought process like throughout the day all day right you can still work through it so i'm going to get some clarifying cards really quick for you about what the six of cups and taking action um there's also something that i feel like you're thinking about as far as like not only are you thinking about like healing this inner child work but there's also something i feel like you're thinking about in the sense of like it has to do with your world okay um feeling like I feel like I kind of get the feeling somebody wants to feel like on top of the world or on top of their world or like, I don't know if that sounds corny, but just the energy of like, ah, uh, see how she just looks like happy and like together and on her shit, right? So I feel like it's kind of like, I want to be in this boss energy. I want to be like back to me. I feel like there's an element of like something was lost and you're getting it back, Scorpio, okay? Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, the world just came out on top of that with the lovers. Okay. And I feel like there's an en energy of like, uh, if you're not involved with anybody, I feel like there's been conflict and a tower in the recent past, looking at these two cards popping up right after that. So we've had some fighting, possibly there was a lot of conflict with a past lover. It could have even caused like a tower moment in your life, right? Um, where everything was just completely fucked, right? So I feel like with... <laughs> With this energy showing up right underneath that as I was talking about it. Um, there's like newness. There's a level of newness, okay? There's an energy shift and vibration coming into your life. There's this energy of I want to be back to this boss energy. I'm I'm thinking it. I'm I'm acting on it. I'm I'm bring it bringing it energetically into fruition. You know, I'm praying on it. I'm doing all of everything that I'm supposed to do with this thought action as well with the prince of air here, prince of swords. Um we have the lovers and the world card, okay, right after that. And so for me, with the lovers and the world card popping up um, right after that, I also feel like you've got, um, it could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be um, Aquarius Libra Gemini energy coming in, but it doesn't have to be, like I said. Um, that's just the energy of the lovers card. Um, could be somebody that's a different race, different religion, different age difference, large, something different. Okay. But it's like you complement each other that, that energy is coming in, but next to the world. So it's going to be high vibrational. Like this is going to change your world. This person is also coming in to change. It's like, you're, you're starting a new cycle. I feel like it's, if you haven't already, um, this is what's going to be happening for you, Scorpio. And I feel like it's going to be a change that's going to like, basically, um, this person is going to open your eyes to different, to like, it's just going to change your world. I feel like there's an element of this relationship that's going to feel so good um, that this person is, I feel like, a teacher, okay? Honestly, I'm picking up the vibe of somebody that can just, um, that will understand you, right? But also teach you so much. And I feel like, um, I like that energy, okay? King of Cups, a very emotionally and supportive um, grounded, very emotionally supportive, king, right? Could be an older water sign, doesn't have to be older, um, just the energy of water, just could be a very, like a, like I said, a leader, a very supportive person, right? This guy um, is gonna like, 
if you come to this person in a relationship and have things going on, they're going to be there for you. They're not going to just pretend like, you know, whatever's going on with you doesn't, you know, like how sometimes like, I've, have you ever been with anybody that just kind of, you talk about something that's bothering you or going on with you and they act uncomfortable and can't wait for you to shut up. This isn't this guy, okay, <laughs> basically. But I feel like this person has been around the world, right? See how we've got the boat here too? This person is very knowledgeable, very spiritual. That's what I mean. They're going to teach you a lot, I feel like, as far as just life is concerned. They could be older than you, but it could be like a good match, whatever. It's going to complement your energy. It could be somebody you end up marrying, or this is just Taurus energy, okay, with a hierophant coming out. Or they could be a spiritual leader, spiritual teacher into some sort of spiritual healing teaching. Like I said, if they're going to teach you a lot, maybe they are a teacher of some way, in some way, shape, or form, okay? Four of Cups right after this energy. Um, coming out of the energy of feeling unfulfilled, like I said, you're going to be very surprised with this connection. Um, the Prince of Princess of Cups, though, in reverse. Let's see what that's about. Help us elaborate, Spirit, on what this Princess of Cups is. Ten of Cups. So I feel like after kind of going through whatever you've gone through and kind of like uh, a, a caterpillar, you know, in the cocoon, right? So turning into a butterfly, the evolution of everything you've been through and what you're, you're coming into a situation where you're going to have total love and support. I feel like you're going to be very surprised. I'm getting the energy of this is something that you didn't expect to be coming. Okay. Um, I feel like there's somebody around you that might have feelings for you or admires you, or there's just an energy of, you don't see this coming. Okay. There's a surprise here. Um, maybe it's just, you meet this person out of nowhere. I don't know at the grocery store, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever you do with Scorpio. Okay. You're going to meet this person somehow, but I feel like it's spiritually based somehow. Um, Oh God, <laughs> dropping all my cards. Page of Cups, okay. I feel like this person, because I just dropped my cards too and this is in reverse, this is new love but in reverse. There is like, I feel like this person is <laughs> like dropping the ball as far as like uh, engaging with you if that makes sense there's an energy of somebody even being around if you haven't talked to this person yet um that's very interested in you and they're just dropping the ball like there's something going on in there i don't know i feel like that's the energy let's see let me elaborate again on this page of cuffs Knight of Pentacles, slowest fucking move, slowest fucking moving night in the deck, right? So yeah, like I was saying, this is the energy of just slow. They're dropping the ball. I feel like this person is kind of like even freaked out about how they feel about you. And so it's like one minute, like, yeah, I think I like really like this person. The next minute's like, never fucking mind. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot going on over here. Purple. There's a lot of purple in this hair. So purple, I just noticed there's something about purple with this man. So there could be some sort of like clarity, like I said, that this person might be having right now. Um, or it's just, yeah, they're losing sleep. Okay. I feel like this person has tried to ignore like an attraction for you or something and they can't. Okay. Um, but they're still like watching you or trying to figure you out or something about you. It's like, I don't know. They're just taking their time. Maybe they can't come no towards you right now, or there's a distance. Maybe it's taking them a while because there's some sort of a distance between you two. I don't know. Um, somebody's under judgment. That's what it is. Hmm. So if you haven't met this person, maybe they're actually going through something right now that's going to bring them towards you. See how she's like ends up her soul looks like it's flying free. So maybe this person has been in a connection is actually going through some sort of ending. Okay. In order for them to end up meeting you. Right. So I feel like that's kind of what's going on here. So if they don't know you yet, maybe they even admire you and just things are going right in their relationship and it kind of gives them an opportunity to come towards you. Um, 
with the King of Cups here. There's the energy of the King of Cups again. So more water energy, being emotional, but being kind of calm and whatever, you know, is going on. Scorpio, I feel like this is either your energy or this other person's energy. I feel like it could be, they could have water in their chart as well or be another Scorpio. But the energy of um, feeling inspired, wanting to celebrate. I feel like whatever you've got going on, even though you've been through some bullshit lately, you've still been, the, been in the energy of wanting to celebrate what is good in your life. Celebrate with family or friends or whatever, right? With the three of cups here. Just celebrate life some, right? So... Um, I'm just picking up the energy of just feeling like, you know, really embracing like gratitude. Um, and page of swords energy. Ugh. So there has been some like spying on you, air energy. I feel like somebody doesn't like you being in this energy and they try to knock you down like a notch every time you're in it. They don't want you to be happy for shit. Air, this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, watching you, talking about you. This is Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles, your energy, you're, you're working hard, okay? This is the energy of also having a lot of patience, but mastering your craft. I feel like there's multiple crafts here we have as well because there's a lot on the table right there with this woman. Um, and she's also protecting herself, right? So I feel like there's an energy of like, I've worked hard for this shit. I'm not gonna like, you know... <laughs> This is me mastering my craft, my world, my energy, everything around me. Like, you can talk shit all you want to, but I'm in this energy over here. And I will light a fucking candle, right? So, know that, right? <laughs> um, yeah, Queen of Cups energy, Scorpio, right? This is me, like, this is, this is me, you, I don't know why I just said me, you, I'm a Scorpio, that's why I guess, I don't know, I love this card, all right, so my head is, my hair isn't as red as it, this girl's hair is right now, it's a lighter red with blonde in it, but like, or a lighter color, shade of red, strawberry blonde, but um, I did wear my hair this red like last year for a while, so I love this card, it reminds me of me, um, <laughs> the energy of just being like in your element, right? So feeling like feeling okay with like emotional, your emotional side, like, uh, we're very, very loving people, but we're very, very, uh, deep and emotional. Okay. So, um, this is like being, uh, the energy of being a very healing and supportive person, but even being that way to yourself, right? Um, and being in control of your emotions, but being very deep and um, that person that provides support and love, right? I feel like this is the energy and it's like, you know, you can talk about me all you want to, but I'm full of love here and I work hard for everything in my life and everyone that I want to be in my life, right? So, and have nothing but love to offer. I love it. Okay, so that's the action you're in or the energy you're in. Um, the final outcome of the reading, Scorpio, we have the Ace of Cups. I mean, not Ace of Cups, but the Ace of Pentacles, which is a new investment, a large amount of money. Um, so if you've got some sort of a new investment, new project, new job coming in, something, it could be multiple things, but you're going to be okay. And this is blessings from the divine with wealth for you. In whatever way it's coming with the chariot here right next to it, cancer energy could be in the form of a person or a job. I don't know. Something involving a cancer. Um, or this just means this is coming, right? Like, okay, that sounds fucking awesome to me, right? Um, the two of cups is not there right now, right? The Libra card right next to it, for some reason, there's some kind of a justice here. I mean, the justice card, Libra energy, there's some kind of justice going on in a love situation, possibly a, a relationship, um, partnership. Let's see what this is. What is this? Two of cups in reverse with a justice card for Scorpio. Scorpio. <sighs> You came out. All right. Hold on. So we've got Scorpio. What is the justice? A death and rebirth. Transformation. Transformation. Feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. So getting justice for feeling left out in the cold. 
feeling okay and abundant alone, okay? Um, and I feel like the justice of that is like, you don't even need this motherfucker that hurt you in the past, right? Like, you're not, me you're not left out in the cold anymore. Look at all this abundance you're providing um, to, or you're in the energy, high vibrational energy of bringing to your life, right? And, and you're doing it by yourself. That's that energy. Um, transformation, total transformation. The energy of I'm, t I'm vibing too high. You can't touch this bitch, right? <laughs> Get in your motherfucking lane. All right. So yeah, three of swords, but in the reverse. So this is not anything, any energy that you want to have anything to do with. I feel like um, six of wands wanted to pop out, but we're going to keep on. So um, I just feel like for the final outcome, yeah. Four of wands. This is harmony in your home, possibly twin flame relationship coming, okay? Ooh, look, right after that, the star card. This is basically like your prayers coming true or being answered, two of cups. So I feel like there's a love coming in after this for you um, that's going to have you feeling just amazing here, okay? Because the two of cups, the four of wands, and the star card, Scorpio, all is the final outcome. That's amazing. Could be a situation where you end up moving in with this person with the four of wands. I feel like it's going to be pretty quick if you do. Um, I'm just getting the energy of things like once you do end up connected with this person, it's going to move really fast. Okay. Like with the, the four of wands, twin flame. I feel like you guys, if it is a twin flame connection, are going to literally feel like you've known each other for like millions of lives. And it's just like crazy. Like why did it, how come we didn't meet like earlier in this life? What the fuck? Right? So I feel like that's that energy. I love it. Um, let me get my yin and yang oracle deck out really quick. And see if we have a few more messages for you. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please provide us with any more messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Like I said, if you want a more personal reading geared towards you and your situation in life, please hit me up. There are only 25 right now. Um, this is for the collective, so yo, I'm taking it for me too. I like it. <laughs> This chica has been single for, mm, I guess, over a year now, but by choice. Um, and then COVID kind of just really like <laughs> reinforced it. I don't, I don't like to be out there in them streets anyway. But um, waiting for like the right person. I'm at an age where I don't, I don't have time for fuck shit anymore, and I don't want anybody that's gonna break my energy into some crazy low vibrational bullshit because it affects me so much. So I have to find somebody that's on the same frequency right or it just isn't gonna work for me um so but i'm liking this energy i'll take it i'll claim it right so rebirth winter there's some sort of a rebirth that's gonna go on for you in the winter scorpio or happen for you in the winter mm, fate um detours divine intervention so something has been something so this is possibly speaking of something that's happened in the recent past um this is supposed to happen it's divine intervention it's fate okay so whatever that is maybe it's it's, it's allowing and the the winter is literally like right around the corner so something is going to oh wow look we just talked about it twin flame <laughs> your twin flame is right around the corner cycles of completion I love it. So this is like the time. This is it. I feel like for whoever this is for, this is the time for you and this person to come together. Yep. Freedom, leap, opportunities. So I feel like somebody too, like there was also kind of an energy of possibly like in your past, like a false flame that kind of had your head fucked up for a minute, right? But the real one's on the way, I think, is what I feel like that is. There was That's what the divine intervention was. Yeah, forming a solid foundation. So if this is somebody from the past, they're coming back to, to form a solid foundation with you. So maybe that was something that you didn't have before. There was some sort of an issue with vanity, pride, and ego in the way, I think, but it's changing, okay? With the cycles of completion here and change, decisions, air, energy, doesn't have to be, but this is basically like the two of swords energy. Um, 
at a fork in the road. Like the cycle of completion has changed. So it's kind of like, this is the decision process we're making now when we want to live in our purpose, right? I feel like this is what this card is talking about in this. So anything, ego, pride, anything that like all that shit that is keeping me from this high vibrational energy, living in my purpose, like you're at the fork in the road. Like, which way do I go? I want to go towards me personally, all the other stuff that like away from the shit that pulls you down and drags you down and brings like low vibrational energy and situations in my life. Right. So it's up to you, Scorpio. Um, but your ancestor guides are assisting you right now. Right. Just like I said, I feel like mine were, or are, were, will. <laughs> Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please provide us with any messages for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising. Any more messages for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising. I liked this reading. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. What'd I say? I love it. I love it. I felt it. That's what we're on, right? Okay. Let's see. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. So this is Archangel Gabriel. And for me, I feel like, especially like if you, um, whether it's singing, communication, writing, something, you know, something that has to do with communication, either like, and even something like what I do, like, um, really work on clearing that th throat chakra. Okay. Um, and that energy of really, uh, you know, your belief systems, karma, all that stuff, right? So everything, um, speech can be, you know, for me, communication can be anything that has to do with teaching something like that, or, um, you know, something that's basically, uh, I don't know. For me, I just feel like strongly there's some sort of an energy, Hmm. communication and arts for me, like I said, I feel like has to do with a form of expressing yourself. It's, it's like a high vibrational energy. And I feel like that's why it's important for you to get away from this other low vibrational stuff, because it's a high vibe. It could be comedy, something that makes people happy. Okay. It's something that I'm feeling like it's high vibrational energy and there's communication, but it's something that uplifts and lifts energy and lifts other people's energy into a higher vibrational frequency. And I feel like it's important, especially with what's going on right now in the world. Okay. That was a mouthful, but I felt like I needed to get it out. All right. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So there's something I feel like that you might be um, engaging in or thinking about that this is needed. Okay. in that decision process for someone, I'm going to pull one more because we don't want to end it on that note, right? <laughs> um, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. So whatever change is coming, I think it's going to be happy for you. Okay. So like we, like I already saw, I feel like, um, and then extra confirmation, you're protected from all types of harm. The worst is behind you now. I ask you to relax and feel safe. I love this card, okay? Especially for you and your, and I just saw 33-1-1, 33-11 when I was talking about this card to you. So, um, I love it, Scorpio. All right, so until next time, guys, lots of love and light. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my channel to show your love and support. Also, if you would like a more personal reading, that information is also going to be in the description box below. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.